Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. I'm with David and we are sort of doing some vloggy bits uh, for the next couple of days because there are some things that we wanted to tell you about uh, that aren't really like standalone videos. Um, so should we show them what we've been up to? Yeah. Um, you've probably already guessed that this is happening, especially if you've um, been following us on Instagram, but... Da, 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 da. Pickles and Scampy are now living together. So they have the exact same cage as the boys, which is the Liberta Oregon flight cage. However, this is the one that they have is the old model, I think, which David is beautifully modeling. Um, the older model comes with the two doors. So you've got the top door and the bottom door, which is useful. However, I like to kind of climb in the cage to uh, sort it all out. So that bar in the middle is going to be a bit annoying. Um, the locks are nice, aren't they? The locks are really lovely. They're really nice and sturdy um, compared to the boys one which I'm not overly keen on. If I had a drill, I'd probably um, change that. I don't want to focus, but um, you get the picture. Um, but, you know, it's still fine. And it's got the big door, so that's useful. Hi, Chibi. Hello, Stinky. Are you noisy? Ah, he's barking away. Um, but yeah, they, they're they doing pretty well in it. Pickles is a little bit funny about Scampy, but um, we've kind of given them a chance to settle and actually... She's doing really well now, they're preening, they're going onto that perch where Scampy is and they're just loving on each other. I'll try and insert some clips a little bit later of what they've been up to. David's going to do a whole video on the kind of Konya cage setup, so I don't want to spoil too much. Um, but uh, yeah, we're really happy with it and it just looks so much nicer in here now that the temporary cages are gone. We've done the same thing down here as well. We've um, Obviously we use the substrate, Easy Chick is amazing. Um, we've put the grate that would have been there and we've just cable tied it on. Nice little DIY job and then we can put some storage here. We've got the travel carrier here and I've ordered another um, storage bin thing to go here and I might just show you how I'm going to organise the toys because I like watching stuff like that as well. Then we've got baby Olive who's snacking. Hi Olive! Um, so basically I wanted to kind of show you that and how they're getting on. Um, we are going to do some, oh, the lighting's terrible, we are going to do some training aren't we? Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell them what we're going to be up to with the training bits for the boys? Oh yeah for the boys we, we've got a, a toy which we've been sort of working on them with and it's going to be like a little gardening set, it's like you've got a little farming set and you've got a little hose which fish loves throwing around so we're working on them just getting them used to it at the moment. Yeah because everyone loves David's shorts, oh my god this camera, <laughs> I'm really small and it's really red in here. Um, Everyone loves David Shorts where we use our Sylvania family toys, so we're going to show you what we're working on at the moment, a little sneak peek. Um, and then I'm going to show you also, I did a buy Whole Foods order. Um, you know, I've worked with them in the past, but I obviously did my own order. And I'm going to show you a kind of really quick seed mix, which will be useful for like evening feeds. So I'm going to do that a little bit later, um, but I think we're going to do some training with the boys now. So I'll show you that now. This is the set that we're working on with the boys at the moment, a little vegetable garden set. It's really cute, it's got this little... Um, um, veg patch I suppose you'd call it and we're just training the boys to kind of take the veggies out put them in the bucket fish likes to just throw things around here's all the bits kind of laid out and we're going to do as I said some training just interacting with them but please remember any toys um, like this Sylvanian families one that we use these are not designed for birds so just be really really careful when you are using these with your birds just make sure you're not using bits that are too small for them we always pick out anything that we think might not be safe um, but if they are supervised well then these are really fun to create little skits with um, and our birds love them and I think I have this in my Amazon store if I don't then David does so if you're interested go and check it out don't ever use them unsupervised it's yeah please <laughs> supervised David's play. here tell them <laughs> preach strictly supervised play because these are great for training and play but they're not good for in the cage or when you're not around so pack it away if you're going to be not doing supervised training yeah let's get the boys boys <laughs> just rewarding just for interaction at the moment so any interaction they get rewarded for because they're still getting used to it i'm gonna pick some vegetables chibi chibi deserves a treat as well he's pecking all the veggies <laughs> you're so smart let me try putting it on the floor for him see if he's gonna try that out essentially but the birds know some core skills like the tidy up trick picking up things moving them and then we're just kind of transferring those skills onto different objects so it's a really simple process it looks complicated sometimes but the initial training is literally just getting them to touch the different objects and get a treat for them Good boy. oh clever man GB picking up the carrots
Okay, so I did a massive order from Buy Whole Foods online. As you guys know, I've worked with them before, but I'm not working with them in this video. Um, I just order from them a lot because I get lots of things for my birds and I thought it would be interesting to kind of share with you guys what I'm buying for my birds at the moment because it might give you a bit of inspiration as to things you can try your birds with. And as I said, I'm kind of making a quickie kind of... A DIY dry seed mix because the seed mix I made in my video was like a soaking mix and um, this is just a really quick one something you can sprinkle over chop or as part of an evening meal of course any seed mix is not a complete diet and of course the birds have got to scream when I'm filming they always have to scream so anyway let's just get into it so to start off with I have um, organic cloves um, my birds absolutely love cloves, they make your house smell amazing, um, they're a really brilliant spice with lots of health benefits, so these are a really fun one to offer your birds and they're quite small as well, so your birds can actually use them as like foot toys and that kind of thing and just chew away at them, gives them really nice breath and smells really festive too, so those are awesome. Then I got one of my favourite treats ever, which I spoke about in my Buy Whole Foods video I think. Um, which are the yogurt covered honeycomb. Um, I think these are awesome. Um, they're really nice and sweet, which you know, I have a sweet tooth, so these are cool. These are definitely for me and not for the birds, but um, I had to pick up some of those Woo! when I'm doing an order. I'm planning to throw them everywhere as well. Um, what else to get? Also, got um, some mixed nuts. So, in here, we've got uh, hazelnuts, Brazil nuts, pecans, cashews, and oh, almonds and walnuts and they're all organic. Um, obviously I've tried to go organic where possible. My birds are quite fussy with nuts. Olive basically eats everything. The other guys are a bit fussy. So what I was thinking is either chopping these really finely or potentially putting them into my Nutribullet and um, kind of crushing them up into a fine powder because whilst nuts are obviously usually for treats, they are um, packed with lots of different health benefits. So um, I wanted to try and incorporate more of these into my bird's diet. And as they're so fussy with actually eating them, I thought if I powdered them, it'd be a bit easier to give them to them and then they can have the variety as well. So we've got those. I also got some organic coriander seeds. Uh, my birds love these. The way that you present these for your birds is to soak them for eight hours and then feed them to your birds because they're pretty hard otherwise. And of course, soaking many different things releases more nutrition. So I've got some more of these and they're just, again, really fun to add into the chop after you've soaked them overnight. So I'm sure the birds will be pleased that I've topped up on those. And now for the kind of DIY dry seed mix thing. It's not many ingredients, it's just something that I can use as part of the like evening meal, as I said, or over chop. So to start off with, I got um, some organic barley flakes. Um, birds really like these. Again, they're really... Uh, good to incorporate as part of a balanced diet and with all of these components I'm going to probably add them in like equal parts I'm not quite sure but I'll show you I'll put it all in a bowl and you can see what it looks like all combined kind of based it on the uh, tidy mix budgie diet that I used to buy a lot of um, but generally speaking there are some ingredients in there that my birds just don't eat so some of it goes to waste so I thought if I can just buy the bits that they do actually eat and add a couple of extras then um that'll be probably more cost effective and it'll be organic as well so I've gone for barley flakes also gone for organic tri-coloured quinoa. Birds can eat quinoa raw, they can eat it sprouted, they can eat it cooked, um, and it's a really great source of protein. So I thought I'd add that into the mix because I know my birds like quinoa, so that'd be cool. And having the tri-colour is fun because it's different colours. I got some hulled millet. Now obviously we use millet for training treats for our birds, but the tiny mix, oh my god, I've gone really orange. Whoa. That's really weird. Okay, apologies for the lighting. Um, my birds really do like um, a little bit of millet as part of a treat. Again, as like the evening meal and stuff. So I'm gonna add some of this in here and as it's combined with all the other different ingredients, it'll be fine. Then I've got some oat groats. Again, another firm favorite with small beaks. Oh, and this seed mix as well be absolutely fine for things like budgies as well. Uh, some people seem to think that my uh, soaking mix that I did isn't safe for budgies. It absolutely is safe for absolutely any species of parrots, uh, as will this seed mix be as well. And I'll show you it all combined as I said, once I'm done. And then I think, yeah, the last ingredient for the seed mix is uh, organic caraway seeds. Um, my birds really like caraway seeds. They they smell quite spicy, a little bit floral, they're really brilliant. So um, my birds are gonna enjoy having those as part of the seed mix. Got some star anise, again, a massive favorite with my birds. 
star anise is amazing again it smells incredible but it's also this lovely star shaped spice uh, with the seeds in there so it's a really fun foot toy too so if you've never tried your birds with star anise highly recommend it um i got a load of organic mung beans because this is probably my bird's favorite sprout again a great source of protein and they're just really really easy to sprout so if you're looking to get into sprouting firstly check out my video because i have a video all about sprouting but secondly mung beans are super easy to sprout and most birds like them because they have quite a sweet taste because i spent over i found out how much it was like 40 pounds or something i got the like deal of the week because they always have deals about um if you spend over a certain amount you can get some freebies and i got an absolute ton of uh, ceylon cinnamon uh, which is also known as true cinnamon this is the safe cinnamon for your birds ceylon true cinnamon is safe the cinnamon that's not safe is chinese cinnamon or cassia cinnamon uh, this is absolutely safe and i've got loads of cinnamon powder and uh, my birds really like the cinnamon sticks as well but they can have it in powder form too again sprinkled over chop or an evening meal so i've got loads of this which is going to be really cool um, but that was basically everything for my order. So I hope that gave you a little bit of inspiration on some things that you can get for your birds. I'm going to go and make the seed mix in a second so you can see what it looks like. And then we'll have some more fun with the birds. So apparently that's a lot of seed. <laughs> but I like the layering effect. I think that looks quite fancy. And I'm going to try and mix this as best as I can without spilling it absolutely everywhere. So wish me luck. This is what it looks like all kind of mixed up together. See the little seeds tend to fall to the bottom, but it's fine because I always give my seeds a good mix before I serve them. Um, and I've got a lot here, so this is going to last me ages, which is awesome. So I'm sure the birds are going to like it, and I think I might give them some of this as part of their evening meal later, and we'll see what they think. It's time to get baby Olive out. Come on in. Are you coming? Are you scared of the camera? Or are you going to be a brave girl? Here she comes. Scoot, scoot. You come in. Step up. Good. Can you brave? Look how beautiful you are, Olive. I'm gonna go on your plate top. She absolutely loves this plate top. Scooting around, going to check out the snacks. So we're gonna show off a little bit of her wave training. We'll see what we think. Wave, good girl. You're already getting it nice so the way that I'm training her wave because there's loads of different ways of training it is I'm just coming in as if I was asking her to step up and then she kind of lifts her leg to go and step up onto me it's spooking you baby it's okay and then um yeah growling and then she would step up normally but obviously we're doing a wave so she wouldn't be able to step up and she would be waving instead so should we try again or are we very scared ready wave good girl you smart. Wave. Good girl. This is one of Olive's most favourite things to do. It is to cuddle up to Daddy, have scritches. And this is just so amazing to see how far she's come from when we got her and she would bite skin the second she saw it to now begging for cuddles. It's quite the transformation. This is all these two do all day. It's preening, occasional snack, little Barney now and then, and they just preen each other all day. It's very cute. Pickles <laughs> had some um, beetroot today and looks like she's wearing lipstick, which I think is quite funny. Isn't it? I've had a few questions recently about what we feed our birds for uh, their evening meal so I thought I would just show you today. Obviously for the morning meal they get their chop and they get some herbs and sprouted seeds, grains and legumes but for the evening we do a dry mix so it can be left in there overnight and obviously things like chop would spoil. So um, I have loads of different options as you've probably seen from some of my other videos but I'll show you what we have for today. Um, so we're going to have some star anise. If you've never seen star anise before up close, what looks like a beautiful um, looking spice. I've got the seed mix I just made, um, so I can have some of that, see what they think. I've also got Polly's Natural Parrot Boutique um, Meal Topper, this is the rose one, it's really nice with petals in there and different flowers. I've also got some of the Harrison's Hot Pepper pellets, um, as you probably know as well if you've been watching my channel for a while. Pellets are an absolutely teeny tiny part of my bird's diet, it's more for a bit of fun, because they get all of their vitamins and minerals and all macronutrients from their chop and sprouts. 
um, and I've got a whole video on pellets if you haven't seen that already so I recommend watching that if you're wondering why pellets aren't a huge part of my bird's diet um, and then we've got goji berry they can have one of those each and also I air popped some completely plain popcorn yesterday so I'm gonna have a couple of pieces of that as well there's no added anything in there it's literally just popped corn um, and altogether roughly it comes to about two teaspoons per bird and they will have their individual bowls um, so I'm just going to make this up now and I'll show you what it looks like when I've served it all up. So here's everything all served up and hopefully the birds are going to enjoy tucking into their dinner. Hello everyone, it is now the next day. It's really hot today, or hot for the UK anyway, uh, which is in the 20s. And I don't like it, it's not my thing. Um, we had a really difficult time with um, Scampi last night. He would not settle. That is one of the things you consider if you are moving your birds to um, another cage or something is that they might have a really tricky time settling especially if you're mixing two birds because they have their places where they would normally kind of go to roost and it's a kind of a conflict with pickles and scampi she wasn't being mean to him she just was you know sitting where he wanted to sit so he would not settle and we tried every trick in the book um i think it got to about 11 o'clock last night when he finally went to bed um so that was really really stressful because obviously we want them to be nice and calm and happy but they're fine today, um, David's been filming a video. I just went to the supermarket and I've got them their chop, so I thought I would show you what I'm gonna put in the chop this week and then show you what it all looks like all together. So I was a bit unimpressed by the dates on the veggies in the supermarket, so I'm just gonna um, take it each day with a chop and see if it's still fresh every day. Um, and also the selection isn't great and there's so much plastic, but anyway, let's get into what we're doing. So for the herbs this week, we've got thyme and coriander. They're gonna be free fed separately. Then we've got some thin chilies, we've got some curly kale, we've got this adorable little baby butternut squash, um, we've got some broccoli, we have got sliced carrots, again I don't normally buy carrots like this but they didn't have any loose and I didn't want to buy like two kilos of carrots just for five thirds. So we've got that and we'll just make do. Um, some mixed chilies, some baby corn and some monge chew. I don't think the birds have had monge chew before so I thought this would be nice to pop together and I'm going to try and do as much of this as I can in my Nutribullet because it just makes chopping so much quicker and we'll see what it looks like afterwards. I might put some flowers in, we've got like the calendula, linden, hibiscus and dandelion leaf. I'm thinking maybe dandelion leaf, we'll see once I've mixed it all together. Uh, and chamomile down here as well, I've got loads of that. Um, but let's get this chopped and ready for the birdies. And there's a chop all done. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing chop I've ever made, but it's got the balance of nutrients, so I'm sure the birds are going to enjoy it. So it's a little bit later now. Um, David's gone to play Warhammer with his friend. So I'm at home and I'm gonna do some kind of birdie chores. I've got a mammoth amount of toys. Um, we are very kindly gifted some toys and I have a toy buying problem because I just can't help myself. If I see a toy that I think my birds are gonna like, I'll buy it. So I'm gonna try and make some sense out of this. I'll show you what it looks like before and after and uh, some of the toys that we have. Uh, chicken fish behind me just hanging out being cheeky and they're quite scared of um, uh, pickles and scampies in a cage which is weird because it's exactly the same as their cage but exactly. Um, I think it's just because the conyers are now a bit higher up and they're like oh this is weird they're the same level as us. So anyway let's get on with the toy organising. So this is just a fraction of the toys we have. Now, obviously I do have five parrots and some big cages, so I have bigger toys. Um, but I clearly have a lot of toys and this is not all of them by any means. These are just the ones that I keep underneath the cages. Um, but the problem I have is I've got like, um, what have we got in here? For example, I've got like the foraging wheel in with shreddable toys and then I've got like other standalone toys I think I think I'd just make this a bit better like a, a box maybe for foraging toys like reusables maybe a box for shreddables I don't know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna tell you how I organize it okay I finished and I appreciate this probably doesn't look any different to the before picture but there is method to my madness um, I've tried to organize it in a way that makes sense to me for example this box is for toys that I always seem to reach for, I know the birds like, and I definitely get a bit complacent, I just kind of give them similar toys I know they enjoy. However, I have this whole box of toys that I don't always reach for, sometimes I just end up going to the bottom of the box and I forget about them, or I'm not quite sure how they're going to react. So I've put all of these toys, so I know these are ones that I don't always go for, so if I'm, for example, setting up the cage, I can go for maybe two from this box and then two from this box. And then the final one is kind of 
two different categories. So I've got reusable foraging toys, I've got loads of different ones in there. And then I've got, um, I guess, like spares. Like I've got this uh, Planet Pleasures Diamond Bouncer. I've got lots of these, these are Olive's favorite and now the other Conyers absolutely love them. So that's kind of the misc box. I think I'll put that under Scampi and Pickles and then I've got these two and then I know that this one is uh, regular toys. And these are ones that I need to get into rotation. So it's kind of organized, but when you have parrots, you can't always be sort of clean and tidy. <laughs> So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this sort of little vlog with different bits and pieces. I thought I would just kind of combine it into a vlog rather than standalone videos. So I thought some of these bits might be kind of interesting to share with you. So I hope you enjoyed it and um, I hope you're doing well as well. Let me know how you're doing in the comments because I'd really love to hear from you and I hope you're all doing fantastic. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue doing some more bird chores and edit this video probably. Uh, so yeah, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Take care and see you later.